today we're going to make the Dutch apple pancake from William Sonoma. So I've got all the ingredients assembled here, at least I think. I've got my four tablespoons of butter. I've got my apples. It calls for golden delicious, but I like these little packages from Costco. It's already sliced perfectly. I don't have to core. I don't have to do anything. I can just toss them in the pan, which makes breakfast in the morning so much easier. I've got my sugar. I've got my flour. I've got my mixing bowl and my whisk. I've got my half cup of milk, my cinnamon, and I'll take a pinch of salt, and I've got my eggs that have been sitting out uh, at room temperature. And I have preheated the oven to 400. Okay, so degrees. I've got the skillet that I'm going to cook the apples in. And the recipe calls for two tablespoons, so half of the four tablespoons of butter. We're going to toss into that pan and let it cook down and melt, and then we'll toss the apples in. Okay, so the butter's melted down. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my one bag of apples, which is equivalent to the one golden delicious apple. And toss this in there. I've got my spatula. Kind of just move it around, making sure that everything gets coated. I'm going to add my one half teaspoon of cinnamon. Let's see. Go in there. I like cinnamon, so I'm just probably going to do a little heaping half teaspoon of cinnamon to that. And I'm going to add my one tablespoon of granulated sugar. I've got my big jug here. Take that and just sprinkle that on. The recipe calls for this to saute for five to six minutes. So I'm just going to make sure I turn down the temperature to medium. Make sure everything's coated. I don't want this to burn. And I'm going to let this cook down until it's softened for five to eight minutes that the recipe calls for. And okay. see how it turns out. It's been about five to six minutes. And you can see uh, the apples have cooked down. I'm using this fork and you can see that it easily goes through the apple. There's still a little give, but I'm going to put this to the side and let it um, continue cooking off the heat. And remember, it's going to go into the oven, so it'll soften. So now, just going to work on the batter and set this aside. Turn off the heat, and we're going to go to the batter. So the recipe calls for two eggs at room temperature. Mine have been sitting out for about 20 minutes. They're still a little chilly, but they're as close to room temperature as I can afford to wait this morning. I'm pretty hungry. So we have to twist the eggs. And I think the reason why that the recipe calls for the eggs to be at room temperature is that it allows you to kind of make it a little bit more frothy. You want the cake to rise, so you need a little air in this. So I also need to then add the one half cup of sifted flour and a half teaspoon of salt. So there was my handy dandy sifter. Get a half teaspoon of salt in here. There we go. Just quickly sift it into the batter. Okay. Ah. The one thing never to do is I'm using kosher salt, so it won't fall through the sifter. So I'm actually just going to dump it. Looks like there was no lumps in the flour and all got worked out. So then we're going to quickly mix this together. My recipe just disappeared until it's blended. I forgot to add the milk, so I'm going to go ahead and add this milk in there and combine it. So then the recipe calls for, I uh, use this one half, uh, I guess two tablespoons of butter and melt it. I'm just going to pop it into the microwave and melt it down and then add it directly into the batter. 
Okay, so I've melted down the butter about 40 seconds in the microwave using the same uh, measuring cup that I had used the milk. Don't want to have to do more dishes than I have to on a Sunday. So I'm going to slowly incorporate that in. I've let it cool, the butter cool a little bit so it doesn't cook the eggs that are in the batter. So we're just mixing that and you can see the batter is very nice and smooth. Now we're going to get the prepared pan, lay the apples in the pan and pop it in the oven. Okay, on a side note, um, when I tried to use a stainless steel pan and butter it, my Dutch baby stuck to the pan. So I am going to use a nonstick pan and see how it works. I wonder about the picture in the William Sonoma image and how they got their Dutch baby to look so perfect and to get it out of the pan without this type of mess. So let's see how it works with a nonstick pan. And I'm actually going to use pan instead of um, regular butter. I know this is taboo on, a, on an already nonstick pan, but I found this is the best way for things to truly not stick. So I've got my prepared pan. Here. I've got my batter mix. Just gonna pour that in. Make sure the batter's in there. I've got my cooked and prepared apples. And you can just use your fingers if you want a pretty display. And just lay them nicely all around, but it's kind of still hot, so I'm going to use my spatula and just toss them in here. Now this pan goes into a 400 degree oven, and the recipe calls for 25 to 35 minutes, so we'll just wait and see how it goes. Okay, the Dutch baby is ready to come out of the oven. Ooh. You can see how nicely it's puffed up and it's golden brown. Let's see how well it sticks. Oh, I can pick it up out of the pan. Looks like it works perfectly. Okay, so now, um, because you have to eat the Dutch baby, baby quickly um, as it loses its puff quickly, I'm gonna sprinkle the powdered sugar over this and serve it up. Okay, it's the moment of truth. I've got my uh, Dutch baby perfectly out of the pan. It's nice and golden brown. You can see that. I've uh, sprinkled the powdered sugar on it. Haven't added my lemon or lingonberry jam, but I want to make sure that this Dutch baby tastes as good as it looks on the picture. So here we go. Make sure we get a little apple in there. Mm. It is very good. Now, if some of you don't like the skin on the apple, that's fine. You can definitely peel it, but the keeping the skin on the apple kind of gives it much of a more firm texture, and it holds the apple together, I think, in the apple um, Dutch baby. Mm. This is delicious, and I think I probably can eat this whole pan. Makes about two to four servings, but two is more likely. One, for me this Sunday, is a more likely option. For more recipes like this, check us out at www.foodgizmo.com or like us on Facebook, Facebook forward slash foodgizmo.